the lakes, uh, also called, uh, it's the lakes on Mercer Island. This is uh, the lakes on Mercer Island HOA. They want to do some curb repair on this island here in the middle. As a matter of fact, they want to rip it out and put in a new one. 313 feet of it. Okay, it goes all the way around in a circle. Right now, it is a uh, port in place, so I believe it's embedded in the uh, asphalt. Okay, I just drove into the neighborhood to see if there was another exit uh, and entrance in this development, and there isn't. Uh, but I will say, the homes in here are badass. Uh, I would love to live in this neighborhood. Okay, back to the curbing. So, only one entrance in and out of this place. So, make it interesting when removing the curb. But, um, they want it done. So, I'm proposing to remove the curb and put it back as port in place. Okay, so all of this curbing in here, like I said before, is port in place. And I'm guessing maybe it goes down 12 inches or so. Uh, it's got like a six by six form on it. So the plan here would be to rip out 313 feet of curbing, uh, which we would also be taking out uh, a foot and a half to two feet of asphalt I'd say maybe a foot and a half cut out a foot and a half of asphalt uh, multiply that times what 313 feet yeah so well, let's say 320 feet times uh, 1.5 feet of asphalt that we would rip out um, so that curb comes out and then about a foot and a half of asphalt comes out uh, and then what we would do is put in our forms, butt them up against the asphalt. So we'd do a saw cut all the way around on the asphalt. Put our forms in, pour back 313 feet of curb. Uh, it'll actually come out to be a little bit less than that because one other thing they want to do is on this end, they want to take it out, um, I think 12 feet. I think they want to take out 12 feet of this island on the end and then they want to take out eight feet on the entrance i have to get confirmation on which one it is because he didn't tell me which side which one's eight feet and which one's 12 feet but uh we'll have to factor into this bid ripping out eight feet by uh 10 feet of island on one end and then 12 feet by uh, 10 feet on the um on the other end here uh, there's lighting in there right now, so there's some wiring in there. Uh, we have to be careful of wiring. And then um, when we put back this curb, the reason why they want to move it out a foot and a half from the island is so that they can put irrigation in this island. So if we rip out the curbs and rip out the asphalt and we bring the curbs in about a foot and a half, then we'd be able to uh, form our curb and then they'll uh, put in irrigation and they will uh, backfill it themselves. Okay, uh, so that's the base bid here. Uh, I'd like to put in a bid option though to um, just rip out this curbing and then put new extruded concrete curbing in six inch by eight inch curbing um, on top of the asphalt. So instead of ripping out all this asphalt, we would just take out this curbing, and I would imagine we'll end up ripping out some of the asphalt because of this being formed curb. We'd be ripping out some of this asphalt, but we'd be able to come out a foot and a half, put new extruded curbing on top of the existing asphalt, and then that gives them enough room to do uh, irrigation, and then they can backfill it. So, the base bid is to remove the curb, and to remove about a foot and a half uh, asphalt all the way around the island and then we would form back six by six curb the bid option is to rip out the curb rip out some of that asphalt of course that's up against the curbing and then put back 313 feet of extruded curb six by eight that's the bid option okay uh, any other questions let me know